Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I've been posting a couple of videos over the last three weeks or so regarding this year's feature update version 22H2, which will be the first and anniversary update for Windows 11 uh, this year, rolling out in the latter half of, uh, of the year. And um, I've been posting a couple of videos um, in the last couple over the last couple of weeks regarding Windows 11 version 22H2, the RTM status for the feature update. Now, as many of you might know, that stands for Release to Manufacturing. And these are builds that are basically the final version of the major Windows release. And Microsoft rolls out the Release to Manufacturing builds uh, to its OEMs, that's originally equipment manufacturers and partners, for them to try out uh, the more or less finalized version and build of the feature update um, to test their driver's hardware and so on, just to ensure a smooth and stable rollout uh, for its OEMs. Now, I posted a video last week that Windows 11 version 22H2 RTM could be available next week, which is now this week, and that was according to a new leak. And in that video I posted last week, the leak suggested that we could see uh, Windows 11 version 22H2 RTM released um, on the 24th of May. Now, this is indeed the case and has been made official by Microsoft on the 24th of May, which was yesterday in my region of the world. And that announcement was made to their hardware partners um, on their tech community blog post and titled Windows Hardware Compatibility Program for Windows 11 version 22H2. And if we just head down to this little uh, section here, um, this it, uh, tells us that they have and now finalized that RTM build, Windows 11 version 22H2 certification build, minimum acceptable build for Windows 11 version 22H2 certification is RTM build 22621. And build 22621, if you have been following this channel and are an insider, well, you will know, is preview build 22621, which rolled out to the beta channel insiders more or less two weeks ago or so on the 11th of May this year, 2022. Two. And uh, when this build rolled out, Microsoft did remove the Insider watermark that appears in the bottom right-hand corner of uh, the Insider uh, uh, preview builds, which gave us a good indication um, that this could be the, um, the uh, uh, RTM build that Microsoft would roll out to its partners and manufacturers, and is give or take um, the final version and build uh, that Microsoft is, is testing now. Uh, in the Insider program, currently in the beta channel, that will be the feature update that will roll out in the latter half of this year, 2022. Now, regarding the release time and date for version 22H2, um, there is another hint here that Microsoft gives in this announcement they made yesterday. And if we just go down to this paragraph right at the bottom, they say uh, Windows 11 version 22H2 based systems may ship with drivers that have achieved compatibility with Windows 11 version 21H2, which as many of you know, is the current stable version of Windows 11 up until September the 5th, 2022. And Microsoft says here, partners looking to achieve compatibility for systems shipping with Windows 11 version 22H2 release may use drivers for components that achieve compatibility with Windows 11 version 21H2 until the 5th of September, 2021. So this does give us another indication of the release date and time for the feature update this year. Now, um, although they are mentioning the 5th of September year, uh, that's not when the update will roll out. Um, and I think the soonest we could see version 22H2 roll out would be the end of September, but I personally think it will be October. Now, there were reports which I have posted on that suggested we could see the update rollout as soon as August or September, but according to this announcement and this paragraph, that is not going to be the case. And uh, um, and I personally think, though, that we are going to be getting version 22H2, which will be the first and anniversary feature update rolling uh, for Windows 11 rolling out to the public in October of this year, 2022. Now, um, so that means anywhere between the end of September and the end of October, possibly into November. Um, and that's, of course, if all things go well with that RTM release to the Microsoft partners and manufacturers. And although 
uh, the update has been more or less finalized. Uh, Microsoft will continue to just do some final testing and tweaking uh, in the Insider program, where currently that build is being tested by the beta channel. And then we obviously that will be with updates that roll out uh, to uh, the uh, Insider program. And then we could expect that final build to roll out sometime in October. Um, well, soonest the end of, of September, but I personally think that that would roll out in October this year, 2022. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.